During the uh, making of this video, I received uh, some very strange uh, information concerning uh, arming of uh, uh, Poland. Uh, something is uh, big happening, most probably according to uh, Polish media. Uh, both uh, president and uh, prime minister didn't have a clue what is all about, but apparently Americans, uh, they know something. They all, everything is possible. Let's hope for the best and fear for the worst. So it's uh, again me from uh, Warsaw. And uh, if you ever wondered uh, why uh, Polish uh, never liked uh, Russians, I will give you a few hints. Uh, when I say Polish, I deliberately didn't say um, Polish people, because speaking in general terms, it's not a good idea. Uh, because there are always individuals who who have uh, some different views. So I would uh, rather say Polish state. Polish state, we know that uh, it's arming itself uh, big time. And as uh, Donald Trump says, uh, they are paying the bills. So let's debunk uh, one illusion of uh, former president of the, of the United States. Nobody is uh, actually obliged to pay the bills in NATO. It's uh, not a, a fee. Uh, it's a rather expenditure that uh, each NATO country committed uh, uh, to spend on uh, military uh, equipment. Yeah, definitely most of the equipment uh, is uh, taken or bought from, from the United States, but uh, it doesn't have to be. So that's debunked, right? During the uh, making of this video, I received uh, some very strange uh, information concerning uh, arming of uh, uh, Poland through NATO programs. Uh, currently, there are big uh, military exercises uh, in Poland, closer to Ukrainian border. But uh, what is strange, uh, President Andrzej Duda and uh, Prime Minister Donald Tusk uh, visited uh, unexpectedly at the same time uh, United States, Washington DC, and they came back uh, with the unexpected uh, loan of uh, two billion US dollars. Uh, media here in Warsaw uh, went uh, totally crazy. So they asked uh, both the president and the prime minister what is going on. They avoided to give the straight answer by answering another question which relates to a uh, plea to um, uh, all NATO countries uh, to uh, allocate uh, minimum 2% of uh, GDP for their defense. So uh, something is uh, big happening, most probably according to uh, Polish media, uh, both uh, president and uh, prime minister didn't have a clue what is all about, but apparently Americans, uh, they know something. They always know something more. So that was short uh, update uh, during uh, filming of uh, my uh, documentary why Polish uh, state hates Russia. So after the recent uh, statement of uh, Vladimir Vladimirovich Putin 
that uh, he is ready and willing even to use uh, nuclear weapons. Everything is possible. Let's hope for the best and fear for the worst. So let's go back to our uh, original video. As always, let's try to find some uh, answers from the history. History of Poland uh, is uh, very rich and uh, it used to be a big uh, empire, Polish-Lithuanian empire, but uh, over the time as every empire in the world, it reached some uh, climax and uh, then it fell down. Let's go to more recent history. All these buildings that you can see right now, they have been uh, constructed, let's say, recently or immediately after, after World War II. 1st of August, uh, 1944, when the uh, Russian army advanced uh, and they almost reached uh, Warsaw. So, Polish uh, resistance movement, uh, they felt uh, it's the uh, right momentum to, to make uh, the job for Soviets easier. And uh, what happened? Suddenly, the Russians decided to make a 63 days break and they didn't interfere at all. They let uh, all Polish uh, resistance movement uh, to be dismantled into pieces. As I said, uh, Russian, actually Soviet troops, they they just stopped uh, on the eastern bank of uh, of Vistula River and they were watching like uh, with popcorns how uh, Nazi Germans are destroying uh, the resistant movement of uh, Poland in homeland. From Soviet uh, perspective, that was smart idea, you know, uh, because they planned anyway to to keep uh, under its control a uh, Polish state after the war, as they agreed in Yalta a uh, long time ago with uh, Western allies. So uh, they didn't want uh, a huge resistance movement in Poland to be strong. But uh, before we continue uh, with this story, let's uh, deal with one technicality. Do you agree? When the war ended up, Second World War, uh, Russians, Soviets, they started constructing this huge building. This is now a museum of uh, art and uh, science. But uh, a funny thing, you know that uh, Poland uh, is uh, considered as a very religious country 
uh, most of the people are Catholics. So uh, when uh, Joseph Stalin ordered uh, his administration to start uh, construction of uh, this typical building, you can find many of such buildings in Moscow. Um, a lot of people thought uh, actually that uh, Soviet authorities are constructing a church because it looked like a church. But <laughs> funny thing, later on uh, the illusions died. Many people in Poland accepted the Soviet occupation and rule and uh, their rules but uh, also a lot of Polish people never agreed with that so maybe that's why that's why Polish don't like Russians and they are heavily supporting Ukraine uh, these days, uh, unofficially, Poland would uh, like to, to merge Ukraine into Polish state, as it used to be during the uh, Polish-Lithuanian uh, Empire, but uh, it's highly unlikely that would happen maybe they would uh, meet each other in larger uh, super states the U european union after the collapse of the uh, soviet union in the 90s and especially when uh, poland uh, joined the european union uh, it became a very agile economy and the last thing they want is return of uh, Russians in this area. This is what I learned from uh, various people, ordinary people. So from the King's Castle, I'm signing out from beautiful Poland and Warsaw.